evening. Thanks for being here. Great to be here. You know, I, uh, first of all, I'm gonna say, I saw this movie, I'm gonna say it's like a week and a half ago. They got me the special screening and uh, I went with a couple of the producers on our show and we were completely blown away by this film. It's a tall order, I would say, playing Johnny Cash and you just become him and you forget that you're an actor playing Johnny Cash, which is the biggest hurdle in a biopic. So Thank congratulations, you very much. really an incredible job. Thank you. you gotta Thank see you. this movie. First of all, I know, you know, you've come on the show a couple times over the years, and I know that uh, it, the, one of the hardest things, I know that you love acting, you love inhabiting the role, you love the craft. Then you gotta go out and talk about the movie, which can probably get a little boring for you, because people ask you the same questions over and over again. Is there anything you're doing this time around to sort of keep yourself entertained if you go through this process? Nyak, 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 spagadilanka. My question exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, I always, I, I have, um... <clears throat> <laughs> for our Finnish audience, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I have, uh, I just c create uh, special languages uh -huh. uh, that no uh -huh. one understands. I don't even understand it. Right, right. You do it. You just, so you, you make up like kind of words and stuff just to do every now and then. You've actually been doing this on this press tour, is that right? Yeah, a little bit, Mew Mew. Mew Mew. So you do, a, it's friend. like you're doing it for yourself, right? Well, the, me and two other people. Right, right. Uh, no, I have a friend, uh, Michael, and we call him Mew Mew. Mm -hmm. And uh, he actually has a song that we've made up just, <laughs> just <laughs> for him. Just for the him. Mew Mew Ga 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 song. Right. And, um, Mew Mew Ga 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 song. Ga Ga Ga. Okay. Yeah, that's very important. Okay. Ga -ga. You did it very well, by the way. Not a lot of people can do it. And, and who have you been trying to get to do it? I heard you try to, uh, you went on, was it, uh, was it Regis and? Yeah, Regis, Regis, he was a champ. He, uh, he, he did it and um, he did it very well. And the, the first of the first Did he know was, what he was doing? How, how did this yeah, play? Yeah, no, we went through the entire song, actually. Uh -huh. he, he knew what he knew was happening. He knows the chorus, the bridge, everything. Right, right. Um, I'd love to see Reed just doing a mew, mew, da, 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 mew, mew. You know, he's such a high energy guy. Right, and you also, you can add a little kika or jenga with it, too. Very nice. Which is nice. Just a little flavor. You don't want to do Mew Mew Ga Ga too much. I prefer not to go that way. You That's not me. That? That's more Regis. I don't do that. You did it. I'm a strict Mew Mew Ga 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 really? guy myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, whatever makes you comfortable. This <laughs> Thank is your you. show. You know Thank what I mean? You. I don't want to yeah. push anything on After you. After the Wendy's thing, I don't know if it's mine anymore. It might be... <laughs> <laughs> it might be gone now. Yeah. Now you had to, uh, you, not had to, this I think this would be a thrill, is present at the Country Music Awards, which, you know, I mean, you're, you're playing uh, Johnny Cash yeah. in the film, and then you're asked to present at the Country Music Awards. How was that? Did you enjoy it? Um, well, it, do you know how many people, it's at Madison Square Garden, do you yeah. know how many people are there? More than, you know whether slightly I'm being more accurate? than we have in this room right now. A little, a little bit more. <laughs> Two and a half million people. Wow. And not really. <laughs> uh, but there, yeah, was, there yeah. was a lot. That's what it feels like. And I walked, I walked out there, and I, I just, I didn't know what to do. And I saw Chris Christopherson right away, mm -hmm. and he gave me a thumbs up. And I was like, well, that's good. I don't know what that. I don't know how he knows that it's going to be okay. But somehow there's something very calming about Chris Christopherson. Yeah. No, it's true. I found that throughout my life, whenever I'm in a moment of crisis, I look around, and Chris Christopherson appears <laughs> and gives me a thumbs up. <laughs> He's, not, he's like an angel that way. He is. No, so that, so that was good. And, uh, <laughs> and then I had to, you know, we're, we're presenting, and right. so we're, we go through a list of names. It's on a teleprompter, and, right. and uh, I was a little nervous. But uh, I got all of those names right. But Reese, who I've worked with for like a year, I right. got her name wrong. I called her Reith. <laughs> Reef. On live television. That's great. That's great. And um, she kicked me. Yeah. Uh, she can be vicious. I'm yeah. told. Yeah. She's tough. No, she's a sweetheart. Well, she's you guys. Hilarious. I mean, uh, she plays your love interest, uh, June Carter Cash, in this film. And I want to talk about the movie now. First of all, this great honor you got to meet Johnny Cash even before you made this film, before you knew that you were going to be making this film. Is that right? Yeah. How did that come about? Um, well, I was invited over to dinner at his um, a friend's house mm -hmm. and um, went over and it was an amazing experience. I, I can't tell you what, the, what that's like I and mean, words can't describe um, what it was. They're, John and June were just um, beautiful people and they sang this song um, together and looked in each other's eyes and, and, um, and it was just beautiful spiritual and, and then I had to leave and John stopped me as I was walking out, and he was a real fan of this movie I did, Gladiator. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> he said, I can't do his voice anymore, but he said, my favorite part is, 
uh, when you said your son squealed like a girl when they nailed him to the cross and your wife moaned like a whore as they ravaged her again and again and again. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We all remember that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the most sadistic dialogue ever committed to celluloid. Right, right. And that's what that. that's what he like caught his attention. Well, he's an artist who went to a dark place yeah. many times yeah. in his music. So but it I was could... amazing that dichotomy. I mean, just seeing him with with June and this this great love, and then that's the dialogue that he quotes, and it's fascinating. You know, one of the things you do in the movie, uh, in addition to uh, you know playing the music and seeing it, is that you you have in the movie his deep baritone, and I was just thinking. How did you do that? I mean, uh, I, you could put a gun to my head. I could never get my voice lower than like a helium squeak, but you have, I'd be like, hi everybody, I'm Jenna Cash, you know? But you, I almost got that role and that cost me it, I think. But you, uh, really, you, you changed your voice and I'm wondering, how do you do that? With, uh, with vocal lessons, working with a vo vocal coach, and it's the most humiliating process I've ever endured. Mm -hmm. um, because you do these exercises, it's all these vowels, and you do like the, 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 the up and down, and it's so uncomfortable, I, I can't tell you. And to transition, as I hear this guy going fungity bungity dingity dingity up, I go, how do you go from that to I shot a man in Reno to watch him die? Yeah, it's yeah. It's a strange... It's not getting you in the mood to sing a Johnny no, Cash song, no, I wouldn't think. No, it was very, very difficult. Well, we have a clip here. Uh, this is a great scene, actually. This is, uh, in, in the movie, uh, Johnny Cash has gone through this uh, terrible problems with uh, addiction. He's been gone for a while, and then he wants to come back and he wants to, uh, he has this idea to sing at Folsom Prison. His record label says that's a stupid idea. No one wants to see that, but he goes ahead and does it. And I think okay. it's one of the biggest selling records of all time when this, this came out. This sounds great. It seems like an interesting Yeah, movie. yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you very much. I look forward to seeing it. I like to set up all the clips myself. No, I just I, enjoy it. It's great. Uh, it's great you. Thank you. Uh, anyway, here's a little thing I did uh, called Walk the Line, but take a look at this clip. My hat's off to you now. Cause I ain't never had a drink this yellow water you got here at Folsom. I was very familiar with Johnny Cash's work and a fan of his. I saw this movie and I went home that night and I stayed on the internet all night like getting more Johnny Cash songs and trying to look at rare footage. This movie makes you want to like revisit everything he it's did. Great. Which is really cool. Uh, Walk the Line opens tomorrow. Uh, go see this movie. It's fantastic. Hey, real honor to have you here. Thanks so much. Joaquin Phoenix, Sarah Silverman coming up.